most, one of the first big names in bass music. Over the past 11 years, they have made many amazing songs and many amazing sounds, which they have rounded up and put into this amazing set pack, Bass Evolution. Today, we're going to make a dub set song with this pack. I will want to go through the pack, see what they got. Everything in this pack sounds so good. Ooh. Super pretty. Very, very pretty. I love them. I think we've got enough samples now. So we're gonna go over to Ableton and start the song. Let's start off with an intro, because the intro is important. <laughs> I want to use one of the, the cool guitar leaps. That one's super pretty. Awesome. Let's let's get one of the one of the vocals. There's darkness all around. There's darkness all around. Have one of the pads. Let's add some. Impact here, swell here. Let's see that. Darkness all around. Okay, that sounds good. Let's try some of the beatboxing hats here. Risers to this part. I like that one. That one's cool. Maybe we'll put that one here. It seems like more of a transition. Stop. I love that one. Let's have the snares start here. This darkness all around. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, let's work on these vocals. A little bit of reverb. Not that much reverb. Uh, that sounds pretty good. I don't know how to process vocals. They're weird. And let's add in a few things. We're gonna add some width to all of it by getting two more and panning one all the way to the right and one all the way to the left. So it sounds really wide. Darkness all around. Nice. Then let's add a low and a high layer, like one that's an octave lower and an octave higher. Let's see how that sounds. Darkness all around. Cool. Let's try for the buildup. Since it's supposed to be more intense, let's add a little bit more Saturation. This darkness all around. I'm holding on for you. Cool. Now I want to add some more transposed vocals to fill in these empty spaces. This darkness. This darkness. Copy you over here. This darkness all around. This darkness, darkness. This darkness all around. I think we have a pretty decent intro, Bill. Now we get to the drop. Okay, let's see. Got here. Yeah. 
then have another like yo yo yo. <laughs> that works. And then variation. Glitch base here. Like that. Yeah, and then we'll have this as like a Oh, this is not done correctly. And here have the have this thing repeat itself. I'm holding on for you. This needs some hi hats. Let's do this little trick. Copy, paste the reverb. So it sounds like this. Totally reverbed out, like this. Shorten it by a lot. Reverse it. Then we have something that can go smoothly into this base. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we could use we could use one of these. Offbeat cowbell. Yes. Cow. Give me a cow and I will turn it into a glorious bell. Let's replace this with one of the other vocals that I got, because those are really cool, and I want to use them for now. You, and then another Vector Scratch thingy. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that sounds cool, that sounds cool. Let's see what other bases do we have. No, I want bases. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Um, so now we have a pretty decent drop and a pretty decent intro. The intro is pretty, pretty, pretty and melodic, but the drop is really heavy and hard with all the bases. So we gotta do something to to blend the two together and make them flow from one to another. And the way that I always do is by featuring some of the bases from the drop in the build up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this first part. We're going to utility and a low pass in here. So all this comes in more gradually. And now we're gonna add some reverb. I love the sound of low pass to reverbed basses. I think it sounds like a really big, you imagine like a big monster off in the distance. It's really far away, so there's a lot of reverb. Since it's such a big thing, big things naturally have like a lower, lower voices, more growly sounds. And I think it sounds cool. Hmm, I don't know what to do. <laughs> if you wanna go This would be kind of cool if I knew how to mix vocals over the drop, but we're gonna try it. Um, let's figure out what frequencies the basses are hitting, and then cut those out of the vocals. Around 500 hertz. Yeah, that seems to be about it. Instead of just using a regular EQ, we're gonna use a dynamic EQ to sidechain out the frequencies of the basses from the vocals when the basses are playing so that they cut through, 
Okay, we want one at around 500 hertz. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. I still want another background thing. That'll work. Here they were. So now we have to mix the song. Why does it sound so bad? Now we can finally listen to the finished product. Darkness all around It's darkness, darkness It's darkness all around It's darkness, darkness It's darkness all around If you like this video, then please consider subscribing. I plan to upload many more videos like this next year. Bye!